Uh, this could be a bit of a hot take here, but I'm a firm believer that the iPhone 13 lineup has some of the best iPhones ever made. And I recently put together one year later reviews of both the bulletproof iPhone 13 and the soon to be legend 13 Pro Max. Both are great videos, but I was inundated in the comments with Jason, where's the one year later review on the iPhone 13 mini? Well, you could say that I've been saving the best for last as I truly believe that going with the iPhone 13 mini in 2023 is a solid choice. And honestly, it's one of the best iPhones ever made. And I think the best place to start in terms of how my experience has been one year later with the iPhone 13 mini is the form factor because it's probably the main reason I love it so much. Now, what's ironic is that as a reviewer, I also recognize it's also the reason why most people won't even give this phone a chance. So let me try and explain. To put it bluntly, this phone is tiny for today's standards, almost to the point where the phone itself looks like a toy when you first unbox it. And I think that immediately puts it in a negative spotlight for a lot of folks. As the trend in smartphone design continues to go down this path of bigger is better, it's understandable why a phone this size would cause many consumers to be weary because this really lives up to that mini name. And I've been very upfront about this. If I weren't a tech reviewer on YouTube, I probably wouldn't have gotten the iPhone 13 mini either. And that's because in my mind, I too would have thought that its size would be its greatest weakness. But after using this phone for one year, I could tell you without hesitation that not only is the size of the 13 mini not a problem, it's truly the phone's greatest strength. I have yet to find a phone that's more comfortable to use on a day-to-day -day basis as every feature, action, gesture is easily accessible and simple to do even with one hand. Carrying around the 13 mini is a breath of fresh air as it's lightweight and fits into a pocket so much better than the plus size iPhones I've been carrying around for years. And even though it's small, it still uses the premium build materials used on the standard size iPhones and is still held to Apple's very high standards of quality. In fact, my product red iPhone 13 mini is in pristine condition despite some heavy usage. It still looks and feels like a bona fide flagship device going into 2023. Now, the main reason why the 13 mini's unusual small size works is because of the way the display is designed. It's a compact 5.1 inch panel that I know sounds tiny, but it's just enough to make the viewing experience really enjoyable. This is also helped by the edge to edge design that the display has. And for the past year, I've never felt that consuming content on this phone was compromised in any way. It's also a Super Retina XDR OLED panel, so the quality is fantastic. So in a way, it gives me everything I need in terms of a viewing experience and a way more comfortable, easy to use package. One year later, I'm convinced that more people would prefer the 13 mini over the larger iPhones if they're on the move often. You can get things done so much faster on this device. It's a perfect phone for that person who's all about productivity and efficiency. And what really compounds the greatness of this phone one year later is the fact that it's so feature rich and is an absolute beast when it comes to performance. The small size can make it seem like there are concessions you're making by going with such a form factor, but again, it couldn't be further from the truth. The phone is equipped with the venerable A15 Bionic processor, the same processor processor that's in the newest iPhone 14, by the way, making this tiny phone still one of the most powerful in the market today. One year later, there's been absolutely no slowdown when it comes to using applications, updating software, or even playing spec intensive games. And what's great is that there's no reason to think that the performance on this phone will likely take any serious dips anytime soon as iPhones are known for their longevity. All put together, this makes the 13 mini one of the most reliable phones out there today, despite it already being a year old. Now, the only area of performance that the 13 mini is definitely not a leader in is battery life, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I don't wanna come off as so I'm saying that the battery life on this phone is bad. It's pretty decent considering just how small of a battery that you have inside. But due to the physical limitations, this phone isn't gonna be the best if you're a heavy, heavy power user. One year later, I'm averaging a solid six hours of screen on time with the 13 mini, which is fine for moderate day-to-day -day use. Yes, I'll get a bit of charge anxiety if I'm using Google Maps like all day, but by and large, the battery life on this phone hasn't been a major, major problem. And as a strong bonus, I used this phone pretty extensively as my main device last year. But check this out, my battery health is still at 100%. So on top of relatively strong performance, you get pretty solid longevity on the battery life on the 13 mini as well. Now, in addition to the rock solid performance, you also get access to all of the flagship features that come on all the more expensive iPhones, such as Face ID, MagSafe charging, and of course, Apple's premium camera suite. And one year later, my favorite feature of the 13 mini has gotta be the camera performance. It's truly exceptional. The still image quality is some of the best even when facing today's competition, and it's definitely one of the most consistent. Now, I've ranted about this in other videos, but I do prefer the iPhone 13's camera system even over the new iPhone 14 Pros. The pictures come off more natural and not as overly processed and it's way more user-friendly experience overall. And the video quality that you can get on this phone is unbelievably good. The footage is so much better than any non-iPhone competition and it really makes this small package feel as though it can punch considerably higher than its weight. And it's important to note that the camera system on the new non-Pro iPhone 14 models are virtually identical to what's on the iPhone 13 mini, which again illustrates that there isn't much you're going to get that's new by going with the newest model. 
And I think it's fair to say now that interest in the iPhone 14 and the 14 Plus are sparse to put it lightly, especially when you take into consideration that you can pick up a brand new iPhone 13 mini on Apple's website right now for $599. So you get the same build quality, processor, and camera system with the added bonus of a super comfortable form factor for a significantly lower starting price. That to me makes the iPhone 13 mini arguably the best value iPhone you can go with in 2023. And considering that Apple discontinued the mini indefinitely, it may be your last chance to get one. One year later, I'm still convinced that should you decide to actually give the 13 mini a try, you'll end up loving it. And I think given where it sits in the lineup today and how it's priced, it's only gonna increase the likelihood of that happening. But hey, I recognize that the iPhone 13 mini will likely go down as the most polarizing iPhone of all time. So let me know what you guys think. Are you a super fan of the 13 mini like I am? Or are you happy that it's officially taken off the iPhone menu? Curious to get your thoughts. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Now, in case you're interested in going with the iPhone 13, but not the mini, check out these one year later reviews of the iPhone 13 and the 13 Pro Max. They're both great choices to go with in 2023.